Hi, I'm Nathan from Arms and Armor. I'm going to be doing a little bit of cutting today with uh, the Arms and Armor English Longsword. Now, this sword is an excellent cutter. Uh, Mike Edelson mentions it in his book, Cutting with the uh, Medieval European Longsword. I have it right here. Uh, this sword has really interesting grip shape. It's called a hawk bottle uh, grip, so it's thicker top narrows down to the pommel uh, the grip as you can see is relatively short by modern standards two hands fit on it really perfectly the grip itself is about five and a third inches long uh, a lot of folks who do HEMA today or different kinds of cutting find historical gripped long swords to be a little tight and uh, I think this is because of the way that they're uh, using fetters and because of modern protective equipment that makes it hard to actually keep your arms in tight or fully extended and, and uh, do the techniques the way they're meant to be done. So there have been some comments uh, online, I've linked to one video below this, uh, that suggests that this sword might be difficult to accomplish some historical techniques with uh, because your hands are so close together and I think this actually helps rather than hinders in the accomplishment of some techniques right some people like to hold these down here on this pommel I wouldn't recommend it if you're cutting your hands like this uh, you're gonna have a hard time cutting through tatami uh, and in addition when you move through a cut holding on to this when you encounter uh, some resistance the shape of the pommel is going to try and twist the sword in your hand if you're trying to cut through something with resistance and you're holding on to this end. I think that you should hold here with your hands in tight. So to demonstrate this, I just do a couple of uh, cuts on some tatami here in my backyard. Uh, the first one is just a regular overhaul from each side. Now, I'm not the world's best cutter by any means. So the second clip, uh, when I do false edge cuts, uh, which require you to twist your body, you can see that having the hands close together actually helps you generate power uh, for that cut instead of hindering it. So, I hope you in, uh, enjoy <laughs> uh, these little cutting videos. Don't make fun of me too much. <laughs> You'll hurt my feelings. And also, you're welcome for me showing a little bit of sexy blacksmith belly on there. Don't get too excited.